Hey everyone, this is Sean Powell with Traffic Monsoon and I wanted to have some fun and I really wanted to be creative and I decided to make something. And uh, it's very important. In some ways, I hope y'all really grasp the idea as to a way some people think is how ridiculous it is. Okay, And I really want you to understand this is all uh, talking about online business, but I'm going to talk about it in a different way so maybe you can understand a little bit clearer as to why you think this. It's called Stop Thinking in Ridiculous Ways. Okay? So I took some pictures from it and, and I made pretty much a slideshow, I guess you would call it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So let's go ahead and get started. Stop Thinking in Ridiculous Ways. Alright. Alright, let's see. Okay, so you want a new car. Great. So you start looking around. Obviously, this is just, just about like looking for an online business. You know, you're going to go from place to place to place. You're going to look at different businesses or whatever you may be looking at. In my opinion, most of the time, I don't even feel like I look for them. I, I think they almost jump out at me, and it's the right one because I can tell it when I can't sleep, you know, and stuff like that. So basically, it's the same thing. You're going out. You're looking at these, you know, different people, finding out, I guess, possibly it could be your sponsor somewhere, in the, you know, possible. All right. Okay. You look around and you find the one that you uh, that you want the most. It defines you, right? To me, y'all, if you don't believe in your business, if it ain't the right if it ain't the right vehicle for you, if it ain't the right business for you, don't do it. Okay? The reason I'm telling you this is because there's going to be challenges on your trip between point A to point B, and that vehicle that you're riding in is is you know it's going to have some some different things that's going to take place. And if you're not really believing in your business and you're not committed to it, then you're not going to make it. I think a lot of times that's where people hit roadblocks and quit. You know, it's just stuff like that. So, do y'all, I really do believe that when you believe in a business, that it's it, it it fuels everything for you so much easier. It makes it so much easier for you to get you know get going in the business. And I think success comes a lot easier. So, I really do believe the right business for you means a lot. Okay. So you found the business you want, you jump in, and all excited about your new car, okay? So you hand your keys to you, you're just getting started, you're excited, right? You got everything going, you're so excited. Y'all, let me ask you something. When is a better time than right then to be getting out to people? You know what I'm saying? Now understand, you know, you may not have all the answers yet, right? That's fine. Telling people that you're excited about your business is going to rank up there with someone having $250,000 in their account doing a YouTube video. Because I've seen some very boring YouTube videos, y'all. And I can tell you, you know, it's a lot of digits sitting over on that right side, but I'm really not impressed with that. Seeing somebody on fire, you can look at them and you can hear it and you can tell it on everything they're saying in their side of their video. That can be more valuable than that guy sitting here who's doing a lecture on a review and hitting everything on the left side of the page of Traffic Monsoon and 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 you know it's just monotone. I had eighteen dollars in my account balance y'all and I got eight phone calls my very first day for my very first YouTube video because I was I couldn't even talk because I was so excited about the new business and I took two days of sitting in the Facebook group before I did anything right I, I wanted to know the answers I didn't know everything about the business I made videos where I was going to buy ad packs and I wasn't certain how to do it. <laughs> I was I was messing it up because I was applying action when I really didn't even know all the answers yet. But y'all, I can tell you that's how you're going to grow. And some of y'all are sitting there holding the keys in your hand, and you're like, you know what? I'm not going to show anybody. I'm not going to show anybody my new vehicle yet. I'm not going to get out to the people yet because I haven't made enough money. Y'all, that's stupid. Don't do something like that. You want to get out to the people, there's no better time than when you're excited about and you believe in your business, that fire inside of you is going to be there, and you run with that fire as long as you can, because that's what's going to fuel it, make it, make it, you know, I, I've seen before, I'd go six months where I didn't even feel like I, I even needed sleep. Going to work, working 65 hours a week, bouncing off the walls when I only had one hour or no sleep at all. That's how your business gets built, and don't sit here and wait, you know what I'm saying? Start now and go ahead and get started. As soon as you get in your business, that's what you want to do. That's what you need to do. And let me ask you something. What runs your car? Right? This is important. What is your business's gas? Obviously, the gas was the answer, right? So what runs your business's gas is action, y'all. 
It doesn't take any other form of gas. Now, I want you to understand how important this is, y'all. I'm going to show you an example of that in just a second. Gas means getting out to people who are not in your business. Action means getting out to the people, showing people that you believe in your business. You're committed to it. It is, it is being on your timeline, posting stuff on your timeline, videos, uh, anything. You know, you know, just show people that you're committed and you're connected to this. Be the beacon I keep talking about for whatever business you believe in. Because when you're a beacon for something that, that you don't really believe in, I don't even know what that's like. I've never had that. I wouldn't even want that, to be honest. But I can tell you one thing. If you're not applying action and you're waiting until you get a certain amount of money before you do it, that's, that's about as bad and as poisonous as thinking as you can do. Something else people do is often they overthink it. They think they got to have to be some kind of PhD in their business to understand it before they can get out to the people. You don't. You don't. Look, y'all, if I'm trying to tell you something and I don't know something, you know what I'll say? Look, y'all, I'm going to tell you, I love this business, but I'm brand new. Let me get somebody to help you out with. We'll go to the Facebook together. I'll get the answers for you. Bam. Nobody's going to knock you for being new. See what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. You just get out to the people. Show people you're excited about it. Let them start seeing it. Seeing you in the Facebook group. Seeing the other people succeeding. And there's your answer. Applying action, y'all is the number one thing and I can tell you what you can have that shiny brand new car but if you're not building you if you don't have any gas in your car where are you going you ain't going nowhere you ain't going nowhere my cat's in heat so I apologize she thinks I'm talking to her <laughs> alright let me show you something this is real important and sitting at the gas station with all your friends is not putting gas in your car and moving okay do not get this confused. Now let me explain this to y'all. Let's say these are your buddies right here, right? You're all in the same business together. We we all run the gas station together or whatever. Maybe we're mechanics. So I, I don't know. We're all rednecks sitting around apparently, right? Okay. Where When are you going down your path? When are you putting gas in your vehicle and, and, and taking that trip from point A to point B? You're not getting it necessarily sitting in the Facebook group with people who are already in your business. Now I have nothing wrong and, and please, when I say don't get these mixed up, communicating with your downline is not what I'm saying. Showing people that you're connected with that Facebook, I'm not saying that either. I'm saying spending the entire day being a cheerleader inside of a group with people who are already in your business is not going to build your business either. Not necessarily. You know I'm saying you, you may show other people, but it's not getting out to people who are not in the business already. It's not going to get you new, fresh signups either. See what I'm saying? So do not confuse that. Applying action means getting out there to the people or getting the Facebook groups that don't, you know, that you're not a part of for Traffic Monsoon or Power Lease Systems or whatever it may be. You got to get seen, y'all. Getting out there on YouTube, me doing a video like this, you know, I could have easily sat inside the Facebook group and, and hung around with my really good friends right here. My belly is getting there myself, so I can't say too much. I think that's probably cool. Probably got a nice breeze blowing through there. All right, but real important, y'all, make sure you apply an action. So you hit a roadblock, a flat tire. What do you do now? Leave it beside the road, and that's it, and start walking? All right, think about that, y'all. Think about this. It sounds so stupid, right, that, that we're done with the business. I've hit a roadblock. We've got a flat tire. That's it. We're done. But so many people do it. This is PayPal right here, y'all. Here's your PayPal. PayPal put a hurting on us, right? How many people folded up and quit? I've seen Facebook groups where the were it was swarming with people. And within a week later, after the complaint and everything was done, the place died. I didn't. You know what? To be honest, I haven't told many people, but I got about 30 new sign-ups inside Traffic Monsoon because I had no competition. You think I mind if somebody's so weak in their business that they're going to have the first roadblock and quit? As far as I'm concerned, they're not in business. It wasn't the right business for them in the first place. That's God's way of weeding you out. See what I'm saying? There it is. Now, or, like, here's the other one. Or start looking other shiny objects like this one. All right. There you go. I'm not going to say any businesses' names, but I've seen it right after PayPal, right? 
How many people jumped off and started going over here? Oh, but it's like traffic monsoon, except they're not having PayPal problems. Well, let me ask you something. If it was that good in the first place, do you think it would be, if it's like traffic monsoon, if it wasn't for Charles Scoville in the first place in traffic monsoon and the success of traffic monsoon, would it even be here? You see what I'm saying? Now, let me ask you something else. Okay, so you go from that one. All right, here's another one. Or maybe this one. Other shiny objects are all around. Is that your answer? Quit on it? Okay. So, in other words, you had your roadblock. You got a flat tire. It was PayPal. If it's not PayPal, it's something else. There's always every business I've ever been in, y'all, has had something happen somewhere. It's an online business. Things are going to happen. All right. I don't jump boat. I don't turn around. I don't. You go look at my timeline. You can see where I was consistent still. I'm not going to change. I believe in it, and I'm not going to quit on it. Okay? So you can go from shiny object to shiny object if you want to, but the whole point is, are you going to quit? Now, let me ask you something. If you quit on that one a few minutes ago with a flat tire, why? what's going to make this one any different? If anything, it'd be lucky to go as long as Traffic Monsoon has, and it sure ain't got as many people in it, more than likely. So, so you're quitting to go to something else, and, and when it hits this roadblock, and it will, I guarantee you that, somewhere down the line it will, are you going to quit that too? And that's the problem I have with young people law, is the fact that a lot of 20-year-olds, they come into, into online business, and I, I thank God, you know, they got the mentality at least to start looking and getting out there. That's awesome. But at the same time, y'all, a 20-year-old has a tendency, I'm going to try this for a week. And if money don't start shooting on my computer, I'm going to call it a scam. Believe me, people call it a scam. Start writing reviews on it. Go jump on the negative bandwagon. Find a Facebook group that's some kind of haters for Traffic Monsoon and be a part of it. See what I'm saying? That's, that's what weak-minded people are like. And you'll see it a lot of times. Not necessarily Traffic Monsoon, but any business. I've seen businesses. My last business, there was nothing more legit than that business. It was so simplified you getting paid directly from major corporations. Power lead systems is like clockwork. It is is rock solid. And those two together, man, and people writing reviews of negativity, on what? There's nothing negative. But that's what I'm saying. People look for a way to quit. I'm going to tell you all, if you're looking for a reason to quit, you're going to find it, especially if you don't believe in your business. It's going to be like swinging doors. You're going to have exit signs everywhere. I should have put that in here. Exit signs saying, all right, so are you ready to quit? Here you go. Here's your way. God's showing you the easy way out right here because there's your roadblock sitting in front of you because most of you, what you don't understand is God puts roadblocks in front of you because if you're going to really change your life, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. You understand what I'm saying? Not everybody's doing it. So you're going to have to hit that roadblock. And you know what? When I was doing Facebook, and I really learned how to do Facebook, I got ridiculous leads before I got there. I know the roadblocks people hit. I saw them. And I could tell, that's you know what, that's the one that they quit at. But if I kept going through it, going over, go over, do whatever, you always heard people say that, right? Figure the way through it. Guess what? Then I bypassed, and that's when the leads started coming in. And I guess what? I hit another roadblock. And I tell you, I think that God lets you hit your head on that roadblock. He's going to go out to lunch. And he's going to come back and he's going to see if you're still hitting your head on that roadblock. And if you are, he's going to say, I'm proud of you, son. And then he's going to give you the answer and you're going to go to the next one. That is what believing in your business is necessary for. So you can get there. And y'all, I can tell you a lot of times right on the other side of that roadblock is the answer to what you're looking for. It's not hard. It's not hard, but you're not going to get it if you don't stay focused and just keep building your business and believe in it. You gotta get out to the people, man. Show people you believe in it. All right. You learn how to change the tire and keep going, whatever roadblock it is. Y'all, I can already tell you. You know, I, <coughs> I love that picture, but I can honestly say, y'all, that when I've hit roadblocks and sometimes I, they, I hit them and didn't even know them, you know, never coming, and then the people would tell me the problem they had. You know, just just communicate when, with one of my downline, and I found like, oh man, so you say you're having this. Okay, you, you know what you do in the real business world? You address that. You address that roadblock. You say, what can I do to help that? What can I do to keep that from happening? What what can I do that they had a problem with that I can solve that? And that's exactly what you want to do, y'all. And that's what I'm saying. You're addressing roadblocks. You're changing that tire and then whatever it is and you just keep going. 
common sense, y'all, but so many people. Okay, this car is your baby. And that equals your baby. That's yours. That is your responsibility for that business. That's what I'm telling you. You got to hang tough. You cannot sit there and go from from one business to the next to the next to the next. Okay, that's not the answer. Making it work for you, figuring it out, applying action when you don't know the answer is going to get you the answers. I'm gonna tell you that it always will. It always will. Okay, staying focused, applying action again, y'all. Applying action is a must. I'm sitting here on this car with no vi uh, with no gas, right? Where am I going? I ain't going nowhere. I'm looking at the scenery. I guess that's all you're doing, right? Dealing with roadblocks. Learning to be accountable will get you where you want to go. All right? So this is our path right here. We can notice a beautiful path. You know, I see other people. I know there's Frank Calabra. I can barely see him. He's way down there, right? There's Rob Fraser. He's somewhere about here somewhere too, right? All right? I know the path is there. I know it's real. I know my destination where I want to get to, right? I believe in my business. All I got to do is apply action. Putting gas in this vehicle requires me to get out to people. It's not sitting in that Facebook group, y'all. Do not get that mixed up. Very, very important. All right. And guess what? It doesn't take five different vehicles to get there. See what I'm saying? To get from that point A to point B, that one vehicle you had, that was initially the purpose of a vehicle in the first place. Believe in your business. You don't need these other five things that I don't care who they are. Keeps popping up telling you you need to do this and this. You know what? I have not had a day yet. I'm, I'm going to tell you something real cool here in a second. I have not had a day yet that somebody has not asked me, Hey, have you seen such and such yet? Have you been part of this? Hey, look, I just put $1,500 in this thing. This thing is awesome. I love it. You know, they're doing what they're supposed to do. That's fine. And I'm going to tell them, y'all, I wish you luck. I really do. But if Jim is making fifty five, I'm sorry, $5,000 his first month in, that's great, man. If he's in my power lead systems, I'll do everything I can to help him with with setting up his uh, uh, funnel. You know, let that boy run with that. I, I'm proud of him, but I'm not going to be part of it. I'm already dedicated on my path. That is a distraction to me. That is all that is. I don't care how much you're making, and I don't need five different distractions to keep me away from mine. And I've seen leaders come back saying a month later, man, I shouldn't have left. I should have stayed focused with what I was doing. And I hear my downline telling me that. I'm never going to say anybody's name, but I'm going to tell you what. I've had more than 10 in the last month tell me that personally. And I was sitting there, and you know, I didn't say anything. They're learning, man. I'm not going to knock somebody for learning. I will tell them. I type it to them real quiet, you know, real politely. Y'all, look, you just need to stay focused. Get out to the people and stay focused. That's it. That's your answer. All right, let's keep going here. Getting into a vehicle that you believe in and it will happen for you. And yes, it is worth a trip for you and your family. <clears throat> Let me ask you something, y'all. Freedom 2016. <clears throat> okay. It is April the 28th. I don't know if you see on the bottom right down here or not. It's April the 28th. I quit my job May the 7th of 2015. I've got almost one full year. Okay. I was working 65 hours a week. I had been in a restaurant for uh, 26 years. And most of that time, I didn't have a son. I had my little boy when I was later in life. And I'm, I'm in some ways, I'm, I'm really glad. And it's been just me and him for the last few years. And to be honest, that is my priority. It really is. My little boy comes first, and if anybody ever hears me talk about it, videos, you know, uh, anything, you know that my little boy is a big part of my life, right? I may not be driving a Mercedes-Benz license, but you know what? I don't need that for freedom right now. What I've got is I had that time at the beach with my son. I would trade that Mercedes-Benz in any time for that. Understand what I'm saying? My little boy, the other day, he talks to his mom. He goes see his mom anytime he wants, you know. He lives here, but... <clears throat> if you want to go stay where I have no problem with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he was um, talking on the phone with her, <laughs> and he had a little speakerphone. And he's like, Mom, I want you to come get me next few days. Now, I looked at him, I was like, wow. You know, was, that kind of shocked me. He's like, I'm going to come see you uh, Thursday, and I'm going to come see you uh, Wednesday, and I'm going to probably come see you Friday. And she said, he's like, can you pick me up from school? And, uh, you know, I, that was fine with me. I just wasn't used to it. And he said, because me and Daddy are going to Myrtle Beach this weekend. 
Okay. I hadn't said anything to him about it. I looked at him like, we are? So I thought it was funny. So I thought it was so cool he did that. He was in a joking way, but it's pretty cool. He's witty how he did that. So I called Myrtle Beach at his favorite resort. It's called Landmark Resort. And there's always kids there. It's on the beach. And this time I bought, uh, you know, the room that's looking right over the ocean. He said it last time. He wouldn't mind trying that one day. So I bought one of the nicer rooms. They got heated pools, lazy rivers. We got our own free putt-putt. It, it's, it's incredible. They got their, I love it. It's my favorite resort by far. They got a good restaurant built inside. And uh, they got an arcade inside. It, it's just nice. It's, it's our favorite place to go. And he still doesn't know it right now. But this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we're going to go there. Now, this whole summer, he knows we're going to be going a lot, but he had no idea yet that I went ahead and made those reservations. And I went ahead and told his mom not to tell him, so this weekend we're planning on going to Myrtle Beach. So I said, that's really you know, something. But, y'all, I'm going to show you something. This is why I do it. Building your business is not hard. Not being there is. I'll show you something, y'all. Little boy is nine years old, right? I have been there for almost every day of him being eight years old. I haven't missed anything. Y'all, you're talking to somebody. This right here is called Pickle Festival. It's near the town I, I live in. I grew up in Mount Olive, and it's, it has Pickle Festival. My dad was the plant manager for 26 years for the Mount Pickle Plant. And uh, I hadn't been there for over 13 years because I haven't been able to get a chance to, to get off of work to go. I couldn't. It's every weekend. And when I was off on Sundays, there is nothing on Pickle Festival on Sundays. I could never go, right? My little boy has been several times over the years. His mom took him on the weekend, and I thank God she did, but I couldn't go. Y'all, this right here is the reason that I do this online business. You know what I'm saying? I can go to the events I have not been able to go and be a part of. Little boy's nine years old, man. I was here for that. We went... I woke him up early, and we spent seven hours there. The only reason we left in is because it started raining. We walked two blocks in the soaking wet rain, and he was tickled to death, you know, and so was I. We actually enjoyed the walk in the rain. You know, it was pretty nice. But he had a ball, man. We spent about $60 on him just doing little things, you know, like this. This is right here. There was a sweet little girl. She was standing in line, and she's like, I'm not going to do it unless he does it with me at the same time. She was really, really sweet. She wasn't from around here, and I wish she was. She was a beautiful little girl. This is him telling me how he's going to go down the big water slide. It's a real big one right here. And yeah, let me show you something else real quick. This was the uh, for Easter. Mount Olive has a huge event, uh, Easter egg hunt and stuff like that. And this is him with the Easter bunny right here. Y'all, I have never been able to go to this. This is at the park on Easter. I have never been able to go. I've always had to work. We don't have Easter's off. Now, I can tell you, this is why I build my business right here. Because I'm not going to miss any more days with my little boy. And there's more to life than working your tail off. And if y'all understood how little right now, because when I speak on video, you know I believe in it. You know I'm telling you what I know. And I'm doing the best I can to try to get it across to you to go apply action. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else I can do. I can't build your business for you. But I can sit here and I can make videos like this and let you know that there's more to life than what you're used to doing. And I can tell you something, y'all. I was making about $900 a week somewhere in a ballpark in a restaurant, plus I'd get bonuses or something like that. I don't remember. It's, it's, I can put it this way. I'm making about 7000 a month right now since the rebuild with PayPal. Okay, I had gotten over 13000 in the third month in 30 days. The business is real in Traffic Monsoon, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. And it's not hard when you tell people you make yourself accountable. You get out there, you, you apply action, and then people are going to relate to you. That's all it takes, y'all, somebody to relate to you. Relate to me being a dad. Relate to me working so many hours. Relate to me being in restaurants. Re relate to me for believing in a business. Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed my little presentation. <laughs> I thought about it earlier, and I was like, you know what? I'm try something a little bit different this time and see how it comes out. So I hope it worked out for you. Y'all, if you're not part of Traffic Monsoon yet, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you need to be. Okay? Um, 104 active members, $27,703. I've made $685 um, in the last two days. 
and the way I, I do it is I use Traffic Monsoon with Power Lead Systems. I brand myself. I sit there and make my own videos, show you my own proof of income. I think that day, uh, like February the 8th, I think it was about a five six dollars $600 day. The 9th wound up being a $800 day, if I'm not mistaken. And I tell you how to do the business in here, what I think about it. And y'all, I can tell you, if you're already in Traffic Monsoon and you need Power Lead Systems, that's the answer, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. I may have 104 active. But Frank, my sponsor, he has about 350. So together we got almost, almost what, almost 500, 450 active members, and we've been in for six months. That's nothing compared to where we're going to be in another six months. See what I'm saying? The business ain't going anywhere. If you if you're not part of Traffic Monsoon, this is the answer. Click this right here. On the, it's in the description down below. Make sure it says Sean Powell. If you rather call me on the phone, that's fine too. There's a phone number down there also. I usually spend time between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the evening time every day, just about. Today he's going to his mom's, like he said. <laughs> but just about every day, I, uh, w I go pick him up from school. We don't eat a whole lot at school. And we go to get Domino's Pizza and maybe go to the park and have a picnic or something like that. I usually spend a few hours with just me and him. And about 5 or 5.30 in the evening time, that's when I start coming home and start working on him on the East Coast. And uh, But y'all, they'd be tickled to help you out. Uh, go ahead and frame me on Facebook if you haven't already. I welcome you in the Facebook group. Get some more information, the same information, to help me understand the big picture. And uh, we'll go ahead and get you started, y'all. Just take this seriously, and uh, I can tell you 2016 can be a, a really good year. Appreciate it.